All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this later. Uh, for our next deck, we have Mardu Angels. You may notice how this says Mardu Angels 2, um, because the last time that we played Mardu Angels a few days ago, <clears throat> at the end of the video, uh, we talked about maybe moving away from the two drops and, and three drops and trying to curve out every single game and playing a more controlling game and seeing how that would work. Uh, with it and you know just kind of seeing what that would look like so that's what we're going to do here usually with Mardu Angels um, you know I'm playing like the History of Benalias and the Takali Honor Guard or Adanto Vanguards and the Tithe Takers and all that kind of stuff but here we're going with like the Deafening Clarions um, basically basically this this deck is kind of built more to, with Sultai in mind um because Sultai is just such a difficult deck to beat. So, you know, like we have the Clarions that, that can clean up the early creatures from Sultai. And we want to win with our Flyers at the top. Immortal Sun is is crucial. We have the treasure maps to kind of help help us hit our land drops, help us find Immortal Sun and stuff like that. Um, I don't have a backup plan right now. I'm still That's something that I've, you know, thought about a decent amount. But I don't have a backup plan for what to do with the sub goals. Um, so, you know, I'm open to suggestions there. Once we have all the rares and opening packs, doesn't make a lot of sense anymore. What if the Immortal Sun was actually immortal and couldn't be destroyed? I think it should, right? This should have indestructibility, right? Does it? Should it just say indestructible also? But anyway, let's. So you know, we talked. Like again, if if you saw the video last time, or if you're watching here on Twitch chat last time, uh, when we played Martyr Angels, we kind of talked about like. You know, moving moving towards this kind of thing. So, let's give it a try. Let's see how it does. It it could certainly be worse. You know, we don't don't know. You know, but that's that's what we do here. Is we tr we try stuff out. Uh, where's it at? There it is. Mario Angels two. We got okay we'll take this with the treasure maps good early plays if you don't mind. well treasure maps actually not good against mono blue so glad we drew a third and by glad I mean I'm not glad I do not mind if this gets countered. You know, they would. I would like Wizards Retort on this card. Mm, negate, sure. Negate's not as good of a counter spell for us because Negate doesn't get to counter the Resplendent Angel. Which I'm. I am gonna go ahead and throw. Cool. I was gonna say I'm gonna go ahead and throw the resplendent angel out there, see if they have a counter spell for that. Uh, you know, the angel, angel and Clarion don't necessarily play too well together. The it can if you have like another creature out where if you just want to do the life link thing. Going just fine for us right now. We got Trickster. Hmm. That's kind of. That'd be kind of tough to do, Yud. Over. Um, you know, like, a lot of times, like, with the five subs being the sub goal, I can hit that sub goal four, five, six times a stream. So, revisiting a deck for the next league, you know, that, I don't think that one would work. But yeah, we need to revisit Golgari Spider. 
Did you did you have a list of um, Golgari Spider? That like you said that you'd been playing like a you know version of yours, like you you'd been kind of changing it up, right? If you if you have like your list, um, I'll certainly take if you can you know, link it. I certainly take a look at it and try to get it back in here. All right, so I do want to land. We also have a whole lot of scries. We can use two treasures to cast that Angel of Grace on our opponent's end step. What's our opponent doing over there? So they're spending two cards to do two damage. It's, uh, it's kind of a rough life. I'll just take the land. Yeah, they use the dive down and the curious obsession basically as a shock. I think we'll just be patient and have lots of good cards. We'll just out card them. Alright, scry to the bottom. <laughs> no, you're not a bad person for for crafting to fairies, King Till. That's all good. You'd craft wilderness reclamations. And that'd be a different story. <laughs> Best of one direct challenge giveaway. I can still, you know, that could just res it just takes a whole lot of time. Um, you know, like like I was saying, how we could usually hit the sub goals like four to six times a, a night. You know, that's a it's a big time commitment. Um, should be something I'd be worried about there. So Essence Capture would counter my Lyra. I don't really want my Lyra getting countered. Oh, don't use my Treasure Cove. Ooh, give Hawkeye a treat. I've never given Hawkeye treats. Maybe we have Hawkeye do a dance. Yeah, Hawkeye already gets enough food. I don't want to give him 
Yeah, even more food. Yeah, I could yeah, maybe we do a, a uh yeah, maybe I do it like every twenty five and then yeah, maybe do like the best of one challenge or something like that. Every sub goal to change the tie. Um So mono blue, let's get duress. Some of these other cards don't usually like um, treasure map, but it was okay there. Do I want to play a demystify just for curious obsession? Like, is that is that weird to play one demystify? That's probably not that weird. Get that in there. No, I don't think we need Spyglass for Terramander. No. We'd rather just have like a removal spell. Um, that's just the same hand. It did even mulligan for me. I thought I hit the mulligan button. <laughs> Every sub goal you gift out five subs and count those towards the new sub goal. Which means you hit the sub goals, then gift out five more subs. <laughs> it's all good, Ice Up Sun. All good. Are they getting tricky with it? Getting tricky with it. Hmm. Red and white mana, black spells. The opponent's only chilling with just a 2-2 over there. The biggest problem is that even, like, whenever we draw black mana, we're going to want to, like, be duressing so our other spells can resolve, but we're not going to be able to, like... We're not going to be able to double spell, you know, because we can't, like, duress and play something else. We just don't have black man at all. <clears throat> Our opponent's hand's definitely loaded, you know, like, they haven't been playing their stuff. This one's going to game three. Our hands were just awful. They just, you know, didn't get to play magic. Hey, CEO. Okay, <clears throat> game number three on the play. Hopefully we have good mana. That's <laughs> good-ish mana. At least it's, it's black-white and our spells are black-white. Okay. 
Okay. Now let's draw any spell to play before, like, this next turn. Just give me anything that costs three or less. Anything that costs three or less. Deal. Uh, let's play around Spell Pierce. Double Deep Freeze Essence Capture. This is crazy bad for us. Really? Double Deep Freeze Essence Capture? Um, so I'm just taking the capture. Cool, thanks, Yud. What, what do you, um, I guess what, what like rare wild cards would you want to play to complete set things? Um, Which of these do I like want to start getting deep freezed? I guess I, I guess I'm playing Seraph. Use my, you know, just use the mana better. Maybe we can double spell with the Resplendent Angel. And I guess the Resplendent Angel activated ability is pretty nice. What if I draw like that? What if I draw my Demystify that I sideboarded in, and they like attack in, and I Demystify this Deep Freeze and just get them? Cool. We are, we're going to tip the scales eventually, opponent. Boom. Yeah, the enchantment's pretty common in the sideboard of Mono Blue, yeah. They usually have, like, two of them. Maybe a third. Usually two. Another Essence Capture. They're ready for our Angels. Ready for some of the Angels, at least. Okay. I don't really mind this trade. It means that those things cannot protect the Terramander anymore from the Contempt. Obviously, they could have counter magic that can protect the Terramander, but... Um... Dang it, now they have another Storm Tamer. Whoa. Just tapping out? Yeah, I thought the opponent played this pretty well. 
the whole tap out though. Not so sure about that one. They must not have another counter spell in their hand, but I mean, still, they have the, the Storm Tamer that protects that. Not attacking because they could go like Curious Obsession, the Storm Tamer, and and attack back and everything. And even if I attack with just one, same kind of thing, then I'd have to chomp. Um, dang it. We still got the Orozco to activate out there in step. Oh, sorry. Yeah, movement. Uh, thank you. Uh, via log right there. Movement watches or sunglasses. Um, sign up through my link and use my coupon code. Todd Stevens MTG. Get 15% off. Um, and you also get a free donation deck. Both quip and movement if you either one use my referral you get a get a free donation deck of your choice and uh, get an awesome product support the stream and work towards the 12 hour stream goals yeah so starting on Monday Matthew not a bad not a bad day to start You're going to crush it. Man, good thing we have Archer Verazka. There's a, there's not a need to duress right now. Um, you know, gives the gives the opponent a, the ability to use mana. I don't need to kill this trickster because these seraphs, they can still block. So we still have some creatures to block with. But our card advantage should just be able to take over this game now. Um, Alright, now we have, an, <clears throat> we have an Angel of Grace, so I guess I'll use this now. Oh, that is true. We can mortify the, the Deep Freeze. That's true. Good point. <laughs> All right, just have to play around Spell Pierce. First match comes through from Ardu Angels. Too much card advantage for the mono blue side. We end up just having, you know, so many lands in play to their four. It's kind of crazy. Um, a big big part of that match was they they tapped out, made their creature a 5-5, five five, and just really didn't need to do that. Um, helped us out. Uh, you know, did need to tap out and not save any protection for it. Yeah, and our opponent did not have Curious Obsession, like, basically any game, you know, until late. They didn't have Curious Obsession early, any of the games. I like this hand, especially considering we're a 26 land deck. We got Clarion on three, 
uh, that maybe Seraph on four, you know, we can save these resplendents for later. Um, on the draw with 26 lands, I'm, I'm not too worried about keeping a two lander. Mm, right deck, not too worried about it. Ooh, maybe our opponent's playing Naya Huatli. Uh, that was Ophelia. Just it just switched, so you, you may get like the wrong song by the Lumineers. Ah, no, not you, not you, you. All right, does not look like they are. Um, I'll just shock. <clears throat> Does not look like they're playing Naya Huatli. I don't really want Resplendent Angel to die to a lightning strike. What do you got with the fourth land? A Phoenix. Phoenix is pretty nice. That's a good card. We'll see if we draw a removal spell with our two draw steps here to be able to kill this egg. If not, at the very least, you know, we save life. Got some more blockers. And we did. Mortify. Ah, uh, they're marching. I gotta be worried about like Tristani next turn. So, do I want to attack? Yeah, we still have four blockers. We'll have lethal pretty easily here. Well, yeah, so question is, how do you feel about the new setup in the deck with no history and two drop creatures? Um, so far, it's it's felt just fine. You know, we played against two aggro decks, like where like the Clarions have been kind of nice. Um, yeah, so far, it's been, it's been good. Haven't really missed too much yet. I'm bringing all these cards in. What am I taking out? Hmm. Treasure map. Our curve's kind of ridiculous. Do I like treasure map more than duress? Maybe I do. I do like duress here still but they did seem to be a little more creature heavy now we'll just play treasure map and no duress against normal tokens i like duress this isn't really normal tokens though <clears throat> i 
Yes, you can play more than 60 cards. You can play as many cards as you want. It doesn't have to be just the 60. <laughs> They've been hit or mess. This is certainly the, the good matchup for Clarion. Let's see if we get to draw more. I don't think I upkeep stop, because I think I just, you know, play Resplendent Angel. Um, yeah, you can... I, you could have anywhere from 0 to 15 sideboard cards now, so you, you can have... You can have less than 15 sideboard cards. It is acceptable to have less than 15. Um, that's not a Clarion. I'm trying to make my Clarion good. Clarion. Do I shock to scry? Yeah. <laughs> Clary off. <laughs> Ugh. All right, now we need settle. Do I have three settles in here? Is that right? No. Yeah, three. Yeah, not three settles. Um, not bad card. Do I just Angel of Grace here now? Or do I scry, and then if we miss Resplendent? I guess I have to. I guess I have to Angel of Grace. Because our, if I, if I just Resplendent, I have to chump Phoenix, I guess. It's not quite next game, you know, like we could always draw like Lyra that like helps us take over. Like, you know, just Angel of Grace means we don't die, and then then if we follow it up with Lyra, we can still win. Especially if they don't have removal. What? So their plan's just to march the multitudes. I'll just activate this treasure map then. Just activating the treasure map so we have Angel of Grace the following turn as well. I'm not sure how accidental that was. I I feel like my opponent just has uh, March of the Multitudes. And they're going to be playing a, a whole lot of creatures here at end step. I don't think they were trying to play around settle. 
I think they just want to make a bunch of creatures, then attack next turn. Like that's that's not playing around settle attacking just a one one into a three three. That saying, hey, I have March of the Multitudes and I want to make a bunch of creatures that end step and attack next turn for you know ridiculous amounts. As you can tell, not playing around settle. Well, they're a little bit there. I'm really surprised that the Rekindling Phoenix is coming in here. So, I guess they're... Alright, so we could make this a 5-5 five, five lifelinker. 5-5 five, five lifelinker, block, phoenix. We go to 13. That's 11, 12, 13, 14. So that is... I guess that is a little bit necessary. <laughs> Thanks, Yod's girlfriend. Glad you're liking the playlist. Alright, so we get to play the Lyra. Attack for 6 or 10? Just do 6. No, 10. Yeah, attack for 10. Make two more angels. They don't have removal spell for Lyra. They're dead. Wow. They had removal spell for Lyra. I didn't live through hell to lose to draw and fire. That's pretty nice. I thought we were going to be winning that one. Definitely did. Um, yeah. <laughs> I thought we were winning that one. Yeah, that's probably a top deck, but maybe not. Um, maybe they had that one in hand, but they probably would have played that the previous turn. But they didn't play anything. Alright, so we still got Lyra, which is good. We got Deafening Clarion, which is even better. Um, Treasure Map to help us hit our land drops. This is just a, a nice, solid hand. Um, that thing gets out of hand. Let's just... You know, if I don't coil that thing, I'm going to have to Clarion that thing, basically. So let's just... See if we can kind of save the Clarion here for a second. Uh, I do kind of want that card. Definitely glad they went haste with the spell breaker so it can die. I don't know, why am I de why am I bottoming that Seraph? Because like, I want the sixth land. I do want the sixth land for a mortal sum, but we're gonna have the sixth land with like the treasures and everything. There's not really a reason to bottom that Seraph. Then I should have kept it on top. Mm. 
Yeah. So, Mortal Stone is a good keep. Stop this Vivian from doing stuff. The wilds stuff. are my shield. Hopefully they don't have a disenchant. Please no disenchant, opponent. Be reasonable. Tristani's fine. We have Mortify for Tristani. Which we don't need to use yet. We could have used treasures to cast it, but we just don't need to yet. Hmm. One red mana. I am, I am planning on attacking this Vivian, so just in case they do have a disenchant effect, they don't get their Vivian back kind of thing. Alright, draw another card. Um... Let's coil this thing. We'll kind of see if they have March of the Multitudes. Alright, probably not March. Vigilant. Yeah, I'll, tr I'll try to say, yeah, it's a good call, saving Mortify for, like, Ixalan's Binding. Not dead we, don't, we don't need to play the Mortify yet. Man, Seraph is great. They, they did have March, and they just didn't play it before? I guess they didn't want me to have Clarion main phase. I can, of course, you know, I can trade with this Shauna uh, by death touching a Seraph. Um, I can just take seven. Do you think. Do they have Settle? I guess that answer is no. No Settle for the opponent. Two and oh. <laughs> they have the concede button. It's always a strong play having that having access to that concede button. So far, um, control version of Mardu Angels looking pretty good. To be fair, we we did play against uh, two. So far, we played against two decks that um, Defting Clarion was good against. Another Resplendent Angel, nah. Yeah, get out of here, Vivian. Alright, so if I coil this, they potentially will not be able to play Jade Light Ranger. On curve, potentially. That's good. Ooh. Down to 14. 
I'm looking at just hitting land drops, finding Immortal Sun, or finding, you know, bigger... Bigger angels. And if they have another Vivian in hand, I'm gonna feel bad. No. I think I accidentally hit that auto pass and I tried to stop hitting the auto pass. But it's too late. We didn't get to put a counter on this treasure map. I can play Lyra and Resplendent Angel next turn. Haha. <laughs> we fooled our opponent. They they got rid of the hostage shaker. That's a card that's really good against me. I kind of wish I would have saved the Clarion. Um, another Jade Light would have was the card that punished me for using the Clarion early, and that's that's what our opponent had was another Jade Light. I'm not going to play this treasure map. We're going to just scry and draw. That's a good sign for us. That's also a good sign. They just want to draw a card. I will I will oblige. I will let them draw a card because then we get another 5-5. Five five, and now we have lethal. Because like so we gained the five life there during during their turn, and so end step with Resplendent Angel will get another 5-5. Five five. Alright, so we bring in. Not both spyglasses, like one spyglass. Um, got a lot of cards to bring in here. Don't know what I'm cutting. Like we basically just turn into Mardu Control. I, mean, I kind of want to cut some of these angels. Actually, Angel Grace. Um. No, I don't want blood fast. Um, don't I don't want I don't really want Kaya. My my plans, you know, Immortal Sun's like my plan. This this isn't really a matchup. I I want Kaya. I I think I may take out Clarion because I'm playing in because I'm bringing in Honor Guard. So I think I think I'm going to take out Clarion. I have like my my settles for like my sweeper. Uh, let's go down to like two duress. But this is still sixty three. I kind of want all of these cards. Um. Hmm. Maybe you just don't play duress. So the main thing I want to duress are like the planeswalkers anyway. I'm just gonna do that and cut a mortify. Spyglass is for Vivian. I know we have Immortal Suns that stop Vivian also, but Immortal Suns cost six mana and they have like Lana Worlds and stuff like that. Um I like having the, the spyglass as well, just something a little easier. Something a little earlier. And 
Maybe my artifact plan... My artifact plan may not be so good against Hostage Taker, come to think of it. That's what our honor guards are all for, though. Speak of the honor guard. Hopefully that wrecks the opponent's hand. Now, the main thing that I need to be worried about is finality. Lyra would be able to keep the other angels alive. Basically, Vivian and finality are the two cards I do not want to see. Concession, that's what I want to see, though. Good job, Scott Lee Honor Guard. Way to steal a game. Honor Guard does what Honor Guard do. Finality wouldn't have been that bad. Um, why don't we cut a land in that matchup? Because I, I still want to... Like, Immortal Sun's like my, usually like my most important card, and that costs six mana, so I don't really want to cut a land. Um, my So I was going to play the Lyra turn five, and you know, make two more five fives. And so finality would have killed the, the resplendent angels and the honor guard, but we still would have had, um, Lyra and the five fives. Hmm. Wait a sec on this duress. Would you ever cut lands during sideboard? Gotcha. Could probably take out a land if you take out Immortal Suns, but you still if you're if you're sideboarding out Immortal Sun, you're playing against an aggro deck where you need to hit your five lands to be able to get to Lyra. This isn't really a deck, no, that I would cut lands in sideboarding. Um, Band Super Friends is not quite up on YouTube. I need to make it's it's actually loaded and ready to go. Um, I need to make the um, the image for it. Way to turn too late on that dress. Mr. Splendid Angel back. I uh, waited too long. Alright, maybe we'll actually activate this treasure map here.
All right, sorry, making this um, thumbnail. Sorry, not being too active in the chat for just a second. All right, that looks pretty good. I really should have just activate this treasure map already so I wouldn't have to just sit here and um, click OK to everything. Being tapped out. All right, there we go. No attacks from the opponent, though, huh? I'm a little su surprised they didn't attack with, like, anything. Angels are good. Oh, hey, Johnny. Yeah, oh, is the talk? Yeah, did the Takali get you? Three explorer creatures and a chupacabra? Dang. Yeah, that on that Takali Honor Guard. And we Yeah, that, that honor guard was just backbreaking. We we had a Lyra, we were about to follow up, like those resplendent angels too. Um Alright, so I guess we play settles against the vampire deck. Seems like a reasonable thing to be doing. Bring in this Mortify as well. Maybe cut these duresses. Um, and trim an immortal sun. Seems pretty reasonable. I could see playing Kaya, but I don't think I want to. Yeah, that's what that's what we got the demystify in our sideboard for us. Those those blasted reclamation decks. Kaya is okay against one drops. You know, it takes out a one drop and then has like the two loyalty. Um, so, like, if your opponent has exactly one one drop, it's awesome. Your opponent has two one drops, your Kai is probably dead. Um, or, you know, if they have like a one drop and then something else. Hands okay. Got the treasure map again. So far, we haven't really been missing our two and three mana cards. Like the two and three mana creatures, I guess. I mean, we have two and three mana cards, but creatures. Um, you know, changing the deck from being like all, all creature curve out kind of stuff. Been liking these spells. I've been really liking these Clarions, you know, like we just keep playing against decks that Clarion's great against. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try doing one of those drafts later, that omniscience draft, like new thing. Um, you know, it's Friday night, you know. We could do something a little little different. Stay up a little later, do a little bit of partying there with the omniscience draft. <laughs> Thanks, Byron. Yeah, this is this is a good one. Ooh, all right. So they got a venerated Luxodon. Boom. Oh yeah. Card draw is definitely king. I mean, it's you know having more resources always good. Aw, oh, thanks, Maximus. Oh, Ghost Sprite. Sorry, I just saw the kind words there. Thank you. I'm glad you, you know, saw the videos over on YouTube. Cool, glad to have you here. Contempt. Alright, we got a sweet 16 life points. Ops probably chilling over there with some removal, waiting for us to play a creature. Ah, or they're a Mardu deck. 
or they need the champion. Champion's pretty cool. Of course, I'm, I'm not blocking here, so we'll just attack. I could, of course, activate the Resplendent Angel as well, but just getting the, the card advantage engine going. Any advice for drafting? Have inconsistent draft results and want to get better. Um, drafting's difficult. It's kind of the thing that, you know, practice does does help a whole lot um, with that. Um, I don't really have... I don't really have any good drafting. Like, you know, short, quick, short, like, soundbite drafting advice. Um, you know, you, you'd want to try to focus on curving out. Um, and, you know, card advantage is, card advantage is awesome and, and limited, um, usually in general. Um, but, yeah, there's... I just kind of, you know, like search, maybe search for like some drafting articles and stuff. Um, see what you can find there. Um, but anyway, you got it, Yud. And Gatsby, we are going on to our final boss. Let's do it. Final boss. 4 0. Can we defeat this one last? Opponent. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. So we do have, yeah, we have an extra life. So even if we, um, even if we end up losing, we do have that extra life. Um, extra life emote. I think the next emote I want to get is is a Hawkeye emote with um, him wearing glasses and a, and a tie. It'll be my smart emote for if I ever make a smart play. So that's doubtful that will ever happen, but if it ever happens, we'll be able to have a emo uh, smart emote for that. I certainly like this on the play more than on the draw, you know, like... You know, with this this lower hand here, it's a little better on the on the play. No, not Nexus, especially not a hand of like four mana creature, five mana creature against Nexus. Can we go back to playing aggro decks that were really bad against these cards, please? Where's the aggro decks at? Yeah, Hawkeye with a tie. Yeah, so glad we have Deafening Clarion on Ride-A-Boot now. <laughs> I believe Hawkeye will make a smart play. Todd, not so sure. <laughs> Alright, maybe your hand's a bad opponent. Nope. Never mind. Nope. They really tapped out for that wilderness reclamation, you know. Good thing, you know. Good thing this has this card has a downside of, you know, making you tap out to play it. You certainly can't play it and also counter something the same turn. I nah, can't do that. It, does, it wouldn't certainly just increase your mana the turn you play it, right? Like, that that wouldn't happen. Boom. Yeah, we've been we faced three aggressive decks. Um, 
where our where our like deafening clarions and other removal spells and angels um have just you know been really good for us uh and then we also played against sultai um where we uh our opponent kind of got stuck on lands game one and we had like treasure map card advantage um getting there and then we had Takali honor guard in the board that shut down game two Esper Angel certainly has a lot of potential. Um, I haven't found the exact build that I'd love yet in, in Esper. What's the point of having more than one Willis Reclamation? They all they all gain you a, a lot of mana, so you just get um, a whole lot of mana with the uh, wilderness reclamations. Not you. Get back in. Come on. There you go. Hmm. Kind of have too many cards to take out. Wait, you come back in here. Am I playing Bloodfast? Can we go to like 57 cards? Guess I'll play some Contempts. Yeah, just play 57. Um, Sultai matchup isn't amazing. I mean, Sultai is just, you know, great. Like, um, I think Sultai is the kind of deck that a lot of people overrate their matchup against it. A lot of people say that their matchup's better than what it is against the deck. Um, but... We did win earlier. Uh, you know, we kind of have the matchup in mind, especially in the sideboard with our settles and Takali Honor Guards. And Immortal Sun is amazing in the matchup. Could name Mystic Archaeologist. They never get to draw cards with this thing. It would just be a, a worthless 2 1. Or I can name as Kanta that they could find later. But do I want to name Mystic Archaeologist? Yeah, we have two disenchants. We'll do that. I know y'all are all saying name as Kanta. I don't know, we got the, you know, they would have to, one, find an Ascanta, and then two, we have the, multiple disenchants. We just basically make the Mystic Archaeologist just a dead card. Um, I don't know, it's kind of a dead card anyway. Splendid Angel, can you get there for us? And the amount of um I don't know card draw they have in their deck is 
ridiculous. And it's like none of these cards are sideboarding out except for like Opt. It's like the only card that's sideboarding out or that's uh rotating out. I always, always named Teferi. Even, yeah, even if their opponent's playing Gruul, named Teferi. Would've been really nice to draw um, the land there to be able to play Lyra, gain five life with attacking with the Seraph and make an angel, but you know, here we are. I should have said Memorial to Genius. Play four of those. All right, we got an extra life, thankfully. Let's try again. Yeah, Kai, I have no, no thoughts on that statement. I'm not mythic. So we had our extra life, so that's it's all good. We had that we had that loss to give. Hoping not um we're hoping this is not the same matchup. Definitely hoping this is not the same matchup. Could be mono blue um, with a slow start. Nice. I like seeing that card. Lava Coil is the worst card in my hand. It's a card I don't mind getting countered the most. Even if they, the thing is, is like if our opponent uses a dive down uh, for Coil, um, that means they don't have the dive down to protect from a block when a block and trade. Is that even a good block for me? Yeah, that's a good that's a good block for me. Uh, another trickster. Slightly annoying. Entrancing melody? Come on. 
All right, we'll get that out of there and play Resplendent. And we should be pretty good from here. Um, you know, barring more tricksters or entrancing melodies and stuff like that. We're just activating Resplendent Angel. We don't have to play anything into another counter spell. They can, of course, have another trickster here, and I activate the Resplendent Angel, and they trickster it, and then... <clears throat> okay, where's their Tempest Shins? Back to stream playlist. There's their Tempest Gens. I know those are somewhere. Spell pierces. Had a lot of lands. Eight lands. It's not usually good for the mono blue mono blue player. Treasure map. I can go. All right, just like last time, I'm going to play two treasure maps. We're going to play this one, Demystify, that can knock out a Curious Obsession or uh, Deep Freeze. Um, no, I certainly do not think Esper is too strong at all. I don't think Esper is really that good. Um, it's it's okay. It's it's fine, but it's certainly not too strong. Wilderness Reclamation is too strong. Hey, what's up, Sway? No, we don't need Honor Guard for Trickster. Um, Trickster just is like a slight annoyance. We don't need to waste a card on, on the, on just like that tap ability because playing Honor Guard really is just wasting a card because like the one, you know, the one three body isn't doing anything. Yeah, our. Our deck, we're not playing like the, the creatures early because we're playing Clarions. Um, so we need things to do early. Um, and Treasure Map is a good card to play early that provides card advantage and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, trying to figure out how to pronounce the opponent's name. Weird. You pronounce it weird, George? That is weird, George. Um, <laughs> please counter this, counter it, counter it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, thanks opponent. Good sport, good sport. They, they could have, you know, the dive down or the spell pierce. I don't want to mortify. I want to resolve the seraph while I can. Um, let's just go no blocks. Because, again, I think, like, it, our opponent's early playing like they have dive down. So we'll just wait till we can death touch the seraph. <laughs> Play the land after. Wait till after to pump the uh, Tempest Gen. Which one's the most powerful deck for me in best of three? 
probably had the most success with uh, Grixis discard. All right, so we'll just go to damage. They dive down to save their thing. We mortify their thing. They have other counter. We death touch. No! How many times have I missed? Oh my gosh. Uh, I've deserved to just lose this game. Like, I have deserved to lose this game so, so very hard. I deserve to lose this. I don't. I don't know if that will cost me. It's Terramander is still kind of difficult. Now we we easily beat a Terramander. Yeah, I just deserve to lose this. <laughs> All right. So they they do have enough mana to be able to adapt either Terramander. I guess we do have. Quad Resplendent Angel, though. Having quads is pretty nice. Yeah. Where's Hawkeye? Hawkeye is the one that makes the good plays around here. <laughs> Sad. Sad thing is we still look pretty good. Pretty good here. We can attack with one Resplendent Angel next turn. Uh, Life Link it. I really hope they did not draw a Trickster. Really hope that's not a Trickster in their hand. Hooray, not a trickster. Yep, we get to start printing angels. Yeah, I guess after our opponent attacked there, I could have attacked I could have attacked with more, I suppose. Mm, glad to be here. Your problems are my profits. Maybe they won't sacrifice their Storm Tamer. Uh, three, six, nine, ten. We could do eighteen. If we just attack out, they block a four, four. We do eighteen. But yeah, we have the Kaya that's going to clear that thing up the next turn. All right, final boss defeated, and that's a five and one. Five wins. The five win dream really does come true. So why not Kaya minus one on the Storm Tamer? Because, yes, yeah, so we gave them the choice of which to sacrifice. Um, but the Storm Tamer is a dead card. It's a 1-1. One, one. So, like, we we made them, we forced them to use a mana to sacrifice their Storm Tamer. Because um, the 1-1 one, one body means nothing. The 5-5 five, five is the only important card there out of those two. So, basically, we are forcing them to spend a mana. Because um, the Storm Tamer doesn't matter. So, like, there's there's no reason to minus on the Storm Tamer because the card doesn't matter. Yeah, so our Angels did, worked really well. Um, we still lost to... We still lost pretty bad to uh, Nexus. Um, just such a tough matchup for us. 
you know, th that's just... Dex is not going to really beat Nexus. We did beat uh, four decks where Deafening Clarion was good, four aggro decks. We beat Mono Blue twice. Our Mono Blue matchup seemed really good. Um, yeah, our Mono, our mono Blue matchup was, was just really good. Um, and then we beat Marty Vamps. Um, and Anaya Tokens. Nia aggro token kind of stuff. So yeah, it looked it looked uh it looked good and it was pretty fun. I liked having the Clarions and the treasure maps and stuff. It honestly like this version played pretty well. Um I didn't really miss Aurelia at all. No, Aurelia is pretty weak these days, honestly. Um you know, four mana that's it doesn't even like it just doesn't match up that well in the format. You know, it can't like it doesn't have any kind of ETB effect, so like whenever there's removal, it doesn't doesn't help you out there. Um, it can't even block like a Crackling Drake or a Tempest Gin or anything like that. Can't trade with those cards like like with blocking. Um, didn't really miss it. Um, so yeah, so that's Mario Angels. I think it went went pretty good. Okay, so if you are uh, watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Uh, we are doing a 12-hour stream whenever we hit the 2,000 YouTube subscriber mark. Um, we're at, you know, we're getting close to 1,800 by now. So uh, <clears throat> there we go. So that's Mardo Angels. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.